The most prestigious awards in the entertainment industry are, of course, the Oscar, the Emmy, and the Tony. Winning just one of these statuettes is a great accomplishment. But did you know there's someone in our area who has won not one, not three, not even a dozen, but 30 Emmys? His name is Phil Tuckett, and I recently asked him, you did that? Phil attended Dixie State College and Weber State back in the 60s, then played professional football for the San Diego Chargers. And his love for football led him to a 38-year career with NFL Films, where he eventually became vice president of special projects. But Phil didn't just make football films for the NFL, he also produced over a hundred music videos featuring such notable entertainers as Cyndi Lauper, Def Leppard, and B.B. King. Why did you venture into so many different areas? Well, I guess I just have a uh, short attention span. I don't know. And but I just think I was so blown away by the production capabilities that they had there at NFL Films that immediately I started thinking, well, what else can I do besides football? Because I know all about football. Sounds like a movie maker's playground or yeah, paradise. I looked at it as such, yes. Wow. I just had to see all those Emmys lined up in Phil's house. Oh, there, there's a few of them, but I don't yeah, count Yeah, there's 30. a few of them. But, you know, when you just figure out how much room it would take to put 30 <laughs> Emmys, and plus the fact it would be so ostentatious. Phil gave some of his Emmys to his grandchildren, and a few of them are on display at NFL Films. The Emmy he won working with his wife, Judy, has special meaning for him. She helped him with many projects, including his documentary, My Father's Gun. I saw lots of other trophies and awards stashed around Phil's house. I think I have boxes full of odd and sundry Little awards, awards. Oh. That, uh, but the only one that ever gets mentioned, of course, is the Emmy, because everybody knows what that well, is. Well, you know, this is the only time I've ever held an Emmy, well, so I'll have, I'll have to thank yeah. the Academy. Is that Hug what it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is great. Um, I okay. found that more important than the awards is the uh, quality of the finished product and the long-lasting nature of the ideas and and images and uh, emotions that it creates. So my favorite, uh, some of my favorite films never came close to winning an award, uh. but they won an award in my heart because <laughs> uh, I came close to what I was achieve, attempting to achieve. Oh, that's and that's cool. always so difficult, you know? Yeah. Dr. Tuckett is also the founder and director of the International Documentary Film Festival called DocuTA, which this year attracted over 400 film entries from all over the world. Phil returned to St. George two years ago and took a teaching position at Dixie State College, where he was also appointed the executive director of the Center for Media Innovation. I was approached by Lee Caldwell, the president of Dixie State College at the time, and he proposed this this idea of uh, teaching in the department, but also running the production unit, a production company that incorporates television, uh, motion pictures, and uh, journalism uh, in a newspaper, on the online newspaper, and also radio, all under one roof. And so there's really nothing in the media that uh, we can't help people in the community with. Well, you've kind of answered my next question. I wondered why you came back to Little Old St. George, but this sounds like another type of playground here for you. And once again now, uh, the world is uh, my oyster. And now, of course, uh, I let the students do a lot of the producing, and that's really what's the, bringing them along. But with my years of experience, I can oversee a project and uh, make sure that it's on track to be finished uh, in, in a way that uh, goes beyond what's known as a student film. Right. You know, you've heard that term. It's all production wow. and it's professional in nature, especially when somebody comes and hires us to do it. And so we have to conduct ourselves as such. Wow, well you're a great resource to have here at Dixie College. We're lucky to have you here. Well, I'm enjoying it and this is where I met my wife uh, back in 1964 when Dixie was a junior college and, and uh, we're still married. Uh, well, that's an accomplishment yeah, yeah, right there. That, yeah, 44 <laughs> years later. We're privileged to have Phil Tuckett and people like him in our tri-state community. 
If you know anyone who has done something extraordinary, we'd like to tell their story. Give me a call at 435-879-4274 or visit southernutahnow.com and click on contact.